Today is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, and the Immaculate Conception is often confused with the virgin birth of Jesus, and they are very different things. But the Immaculate Conception is important for all of the faithful, not just for our Blessed Mother. So let's talk about it today, shall we? Hello everyone, my name is Charlie and welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the very first time. Today we are going to be talking about the Immaculate Conception and why it is so important to us. Now I am not going to go into all of the dogma that has been promulgated about this and all of the various teachings that have happened over time. I'm actually going to focus in on one particular thing that happened during a blessed Marian apparition in Lourdes, France. You see, this wonderful message that was brought to us by Bernadette Subaru has ramifications that I don't think the church or the faithful have really begun to wrestle with in their fullness yet. If you're not familiar with the story, young Bernadette Subaru started having visions of a beautiful lady, as she referred to her, in a grotto in Lourdes, France. She would go and talk to the lady, and the lady would talk to her, and one day the priest asked her to ask the lady who she was. And when she asked the lady, the lady responded, very interestingly, I am the Immaculate Conception. Now this confused the priest and confused the clergy for quite some time because one, the dogma of the Immaculate Conception had not been formally promulgated yet. This was something that had been in discussion for centuries. In fact, you can find references to this all the way back to the Proto-Evangelion, where we see Mary being born of a very special birth to Anna and Joachim. So this does go all the way back in the tradition, but it had not been formally declared. But the thing that confused them more than anything else is that this beautiful lady did not say, I am the product of the Immaculate Conception. She did not say, I am Mary. She did not say, I am Mariam, I am Mariamne. She said, I am the Immaculate Conception. Well, why would she say, I am the Immaculate Conception? Why would she say that? because that is who our Blessed Mother is. You see, this is what we often neglect when we talk about the Blessed Mother, when we talk about our sweet Mary, our Queen of all hearts, the Queen of the angels, the Queen of the apostles, the Ark of the Covenant, the altar of the Lord. When we talk about Mary, we often focus on things that, well, to be quite honest, in give the patriarchal control of the church more power. So we talk about Mary ever virgin, or we talk about her motherhood in that she was quiet and meek and all of those aspects of her life. Mary was not quiet and meek because she was a woman or because she was a mother. Mary was quiet and meek because she was the secret of the Lord. You see, as Jesus said, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. When he said this, he was talking about his blessed mother, our blessed mother. She was last in that she is not mentioned much in scripture. She was there at the beginning, at his conception and birth, and she raised him. She found him in the temple. She goes to meet him, and Christ makes a very blanket statement, who is my mother? And this is important for us because we are to remember that we are to be the mothers of Christ in all that we do, but that's a topic for another time. She was there at his crucifixion. She was there at his resurrection. She was there at Pentecost. She's there at every major part of the story. But for the most part, we know very little about her. And this 
is intentional on the part of God. You see, her work was done, as the prophetess tells us, in her heart. You see, she pondered all things in her heart. She prayed. She performed her labor with Christ. As he hung on the cross, her heart was pierced. And in unison with him, the sacrifice was made that opened the path to heaven. And again, a topic we can talk about at another time. So when Mary appeared to this beloved, blessed saint, Bernadette, in France, she said to her, I am the Immaculate Conception. Because that is who our Blessed Mother is. You see, when faith is born in us, we are conceived in the very heart of Mary. She is the matrix, the mold in which we are formed. She is the model that makes us who we are. She is our mother. She is the new Eve. She is our mother Zion in heaven, our blessed home. And in her, we are made new. We are made into new creatures. The old things pass away and all things are made new. It is in Mary that we are born again. In the waters, we are die, we bear, are buried, and we rise again, nascent souls, in search of light, of love, of a world that needs to be restored and brought back together through the glorious mystery of reconciliation that we are all called to be ministers in. This is our Blessed Mother. She is the Immaculate Conception, not the product of her own, but of ours, of all of ours. In the heart of Mary, in the sweet, immaculate heart of Mary, we are clean because we have her heart beating within us. She is the model of the faithful. She is the model of all that we are and all that we can be, joined in blessed union with Christ, beholding the beatific vision of God in all things. She is our mother, our sweetness, our life here below. She is our immaculate conception. So today, of all days, we remember her, we give thanks for her, and we pray that we will be born in the image of her divine child, that her divine child may be born into this world through us, in us, with us, and by us. For, as always, in all things, we do them with Mary, through Mary, by Mary, and with Mary. For she is the matrix of the cosmos. She is our sweet and holy mother. I hope that you got something out of this today. This is a bit more of a devotional kind of video than I usually do, but I really wanted to do something special for to mark today. If you have any questions, please put them down in the doobly-doo down below. And as always, may God bless you and keep you ever growing in wisdom. Until next time, may the peace of God be with you. Amen.